I'm Richard Carlton and in this video I want to show you some of the things you're going to get when you upgrade from the FileMaker 11 platform to the new FileMaker 13 platform. There are a ton of improvements from FileMaker 11 to FileMaker 13. I've been in the FileMaker business for 24 years and I'm even certified in FileMaker 11. FileMaker 11 was great for its time but it's really out of date now. In fact it's out of date on a number of features. One of the biggest features it's out of date on is security. So first off, if you consider your information in your FileMaker database important to your business, you really should consider upgrading to FileMaker 13 as soon as possible. And let me tell you why. FileMaker 13 has been radically improved underneath the hood and gives you a great deal many more capabilities than you've ever had before. First off, it has greatly improved point-to-point -point encryption as you access your database across the network. In this day and age where hackers are trying to get into your systems or the government is actually watching your activities, having a highly secured database with 256-bit level encryption is very important. FileMaker 13 offers point-to-point -point encryption as well as the brand new encryption at rest capability where it actually encrypts the FileMaker file itself as it resides on the user's machine or on the actual FileMaker server itself. This provides complete encryption from the FileMaker file itself all the way across the wire to the user's machine where they're actually accessing it. The FileMaker 13 platform it's actually designed to be much faster across the internet. Through versions 10, 11, and 12, through each version of the product, FileMaker has optimized the network communication between FileMaker client and FileMaker server, improving the performance of the communication. You'll notice a tremendous performance improvement when going from version 11 to version 13. In version 13, you have the option of redesigning your layouts using new themes and styles. If you build with new themes and styles, you can actually make your layouts run as much as twice as fast as they did previously. Now this is optional, but if you take the time to do this, you're going to make your layouts download from the server to the clients twice as fast as they did previously. That's on top of all the other performance improvements that are built in the product. Starting with FileMaker 12 and improved with 13 is built-in high-speed digital document management. This means that in any database that you have, you can actually store PDFs, Word files, any critical sort of documents that are important to your business can be stored within the database and on the FileMaker server. Now this was possible back in FileMaker 9 and 10 and 11, but the performance was really bad. So if you want to take advantage of digital document management, that right there is a good enough reason to upgrade to 13. My team of 25 engineers uses digital document management every day to organize and run our company. On top of that, by upgrading to 13, you can now access your database with an iPhone or iPad. Now this initially came out with FileMaker 11, but this capability has been radically improved with the release of the 13 platform and along the way there's all sorts of additional capabilities. There's been improvements to the built-in charting capabilities. There's the completely new slide control capability that can be controlled with a finger swipe on the iOS, but it's also supported with mouse control on the Mac and Windows platforms. There's the brand new popover object, which is great for additional on-screen information or on-screen controls. Plus, there's been great enhancements to script triggers, which are the built-in automated processes that we've already had for several years in the FileMaker platform. In the FileMaker 13 platform, these script triggers have been greatly refined and can do even more. One of the coolest new things you can do with them is actually detect when your iPhone or iPad is rotated so you can switch layouts automatically. And on top of it all, FileMaker Server 13 is much smarter and much faster than it used to be. And so once again, performance and stability improvements have been first and foremost in FileMaker's mind. In fact, in FileMaker 13 Server, 
there's a new capability called WebDirect, which replaces the old instant web publishing, which is really not that great of a capability. But WebDirect is truly awesome, and it's something else to check out. And last but not least is your window for getting upgrade pricing to the FileMaker 13 platform expires at the end of September 2014. So after September 2014, if you haven't already made your purchase to upgrade to FileMaker 13, you won't have the option of buying upgrade pricing. You'll have to pay the new price again, not upgrade pricing. So just keep that in mind. End of September is a hard cutoff. And for the record, this also goes for users of FileMaker 12 as well. So by the end of September, you need to be on an annual volume license agreement or be on maintenance or already purchased FileMaker 13.